Hey, you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Top 12 Unity 3D interview questions and answers for fresh and experienced candidates. Subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. 1. What is Unity 3D? Unity 3D is a powerful cross-platform and fully integrated development engine which gives out-of-box functionality to create games and other interactive 3D content. 2. What are the characteristics of Unity 3D? Characteristics of Unity is It is a multi-platform game engine with features like 3D objects, physics, animation, scripting, lighting etc. Accompanying script editor Monodevelop, Win-Mac It can also use Visual Studio, Windows 3D Terrain Editor 3D Object Animation Manager GUI System Many platforms executable exporter web player slash android slash native application slash Wii In Unity 3D you can assemble art and assets into scenes and environments like adding special effects, physics, and animation, lighting, etc. 3. Mention important components of Unity 3D. Some important Unity 3D components include Toolbar, it features several important manipulation tools for the scene and game windows. Scene View. It is a fully rendered 3D preview of the currently open scene is displayed and enables you to add, edit, and remove game objects. Hierarchy, it displays a list of every game object within the current scene view. Project window, in complex games, project window searches for specific game assets as needed. It explores the assets directory for all textures, scripts, models, and prefabs used within the project. Game View, in Unity you can view your game and at the same time make changes to your game while you are playing in real time. 4. Mention what is the function of Inspector in Unity 3D. The Inspector is a context-sensitive panel, where you can adjust the position, scale, and rotation of game objects listed in Hierarchy panel. 5. Explain what is Prefabs in Unity 3D. Prefab in Unity 3D is referred for prefabricated object template, class combining objects and scripts. At design time, a prefab can be dragged from project window into the scene window and added the scene's hierarchy of game objects. If desired the object then can be edited. At the runtime, a script can cause a new object instance to be created at a given location or with a given transform set of properties. 6. Explain what is an Unity 3D file and how can you open a Unity 3D file. A Unity 3D files are seen web player files created by Unity, an application used to develop 3D games. These files consist of all assets and other game data in a single archive, and are used to enable gameplay within a browser that has the Unity web player plugin. The assets within a 3D Unity file are saved in a proprietary closed format. 7. List out some best practices for Unity 3D. Cache component references, always cache reference to components you need to use your scripts. Memory allocation, instead of instantiating the new object on the fly, always consider creating and using object pools. It will help to less memory fragmentation and make the garbage collector work less. Layers and collision matrix, for each new layer, a new column and row are added on the collision matrix. This matrix is responsible for defining interactions between layers. Raycasts, it enables to fire a ray on a certain direction with a certain length and let you know if it hits something. Physics 2D 3D choose physics engine that suits your game rigid body it is an essential component when adding physical interactions between objects fixed time step fixed time step value directly impacts the fixed update and physics update rate 8 explain what is fixed time step in unity 3d 
Why does fixed time step setting affect game speed? Fixed time step feature helps to set the system updates at fixed time interval. A queue-like mechanism will manage all real-time events that are accumulated between time epochs. If frame rate drops below some threshold limit set for fixed time step, then it can affect the game speed. 9. In Unity 3D how can you hide game object? To hide game object in Unity 3D, you have to use the code. Game object dot set active, false. 10. List out the pros and cons of Unity 3D. Pros. Cons. It uses JavaScript and C Sharp language for scripting. Compared to Unreal Engine it has got low graphics quality. Unity provides an asset store where you can buy or find stuff, that you want to use in your games. Interface not user friendly and it is hard to learn especially for beginners. You can customize your own shaders and change the way how Unity renders the game. It requires good programming knowledge as such most of the stuff runs on scripts. It is great platform for making games for mobile devices like iOS, Android, and web, HTML5. 11. Explain what is the use of Asset Bundle in Unity 3D? Asset bundles are files that can be exported from Unity to contain asset of your choice. Asset bundles are created to simply downloading content to your application. 12. List out some key features of Unity 3D UE4, Unreal Engine 4, UE4, Unity 3D. Game logic is written in C++ or Blueprint Editor. Game logic is written using the Mono environment. Base scene object actor. Base scene object game object. Input events component U input component of actor class. Input events class input. Main classes and function of UE4 includes int32 int24, fstring, fransform, fquad, frotator, actor and terry. Main classes and function include int string quaternion and transform, rotation, game object, array. To create a new instance of a specified class and to point towards the newly created actor. U world spun actor, may be used. To make a copy of an object you can use the function instantiate. UI of Unreal Engine 4 is more flexible and less prone to crashes. The asset store of this tool is much better stacked than UE4. It does not support systems like Xbox 360 or PS3, it requires AMD Radeon HD card to function properly. It supports wide range of gaming consoles like Xbox and PS4, as well as their predecessors. Less expensive compared to Unity 3D. Unity 3D has free version which lacks few functionality while Pro version is bit expensive in compared to UE4. To use UE4 you don't need programming language knowledge. It requires programming language knowledge.